Hello everyone, today we just got new images from LEGO of the Corsant Guard gunship. This set will be releasing on September the 1st with 1,083 pieces, rated 9 and up, set number 75354 for $40, $140 in the United States. There are five minifigures in the set, including two shock troopers, Commander Fox, a Padme, and Sheev Palpatine. The, uh, the clone troopers have helmet holes, which are kind of ugly, but personally, I don't see a difference. They personally look completely fine. Um, Commander Walt Fox has only a few different changes that I don't like. I wish he had a wayscape, and I wish the printing on the torso could be correct, but other than that, he looks very good. And then Senator Palpatine looks amazing, and then Padme, all she needs is the dual molded legs, which are a very easy piece to come by. Um, if you look on Brooklink, you can find them, and yeah. Here's a look at the back of the box of the set, and you can see the minifigures inside the ship, and you can see that there's one door going through the gunship, one on either side, which is very inaccurate. It should be two on each side. Um, the biggest reason they didn't is because of the scale they went with. It did not work with how the proportions should be. It would be five studs on the leftmost side, the side closest to the cockpit, and it would not work whatsoever. But there's a few other play features, which we'll get to right now. In this set, there's a bunch of doors that lead to nowhere. Um, this is one of them. There's nothing in this one. Um, this makes me think that they're going to release more gunships in different varieties. Um, that is a very much out there. But I only say that because if they added stuff inside, it'd be harder to, you know, like remake it. But this is all a shell. If they just recolor it and, like, in two years down the line, have, like, a normal gunship or a 501st gunship or, uh, like, a what was it? Wolfpack gunship. That would be cool. Just something like that. And, you know, that'd be kind of nice, but they won't do that. I think this is the only gunship we're going to have for another six years ish. Next, instead of bubble turrets, Lego decided to add two stud shooters, one on, uh, both on each side, and they look absolutely atrocious on it. Um, the build does look very good for the wing. There's no sticker detailing, which is absolutely amazing. Especially on the bottom detailing, you'd think that'd be stickers, but no, they did a really good job with that. I'm actually really impressed with that. Um, but instead of bubble turret, they had such ears, which I think looks really bad. Um, I wish there was a way to fix this. There might be pieces in the set, but I doubt it. Next, we have a good view of the back of the ship, and you can see a small little boarding ramp on the back of the ship, which is usually for a speeder, but there's no such thing in this set. There's no speeder. Um, if we look up a little bit, there looks like to be a little bit of storage. There's the two doors, like with um, on either side, one on the other side, like a cupboard piece for like a house, but it's on here. And then the upper part with the black rail pieces and the tile, looks like there could be something there. It just looks very weird and out of place. But from the back angle, it does look pretty good. Here's a decent look of how the set will look in scale. Um, it is definitely a bit smaller of a model. And the minifigures fit inside decently, but there isn't as much headroom as there were in older sets. Lastly, we can look at the girl picking up the set um, just from a different angle. It doesn't look too bad. I just wish the wings were better. Um, and then there's ugly Technic pins that you can see, which I just noticed, which actually look horrible that they didn't cover that up. That really pisses me off. Um, yeah, but the, you can see that, the Technic pins, and then the bubble turrets, which are really ugly because they use stud shooters. Thank you so much for watching this video. Come back soon for more LEGO Star Wars set reviews. I will be getting Yoda Starfighter in the mail soon. And check out my eBay at AM Productions if you'd like to buy some Pokemon cards off me to help me fund this YouTube career.